Hello everyone, welcome to Violet Adazet 2.0, Violet here, and today I am looking at inside Zed's 16 million mansion that has a Skittles machine. Open door, architectural digest. I guess you can just say this might be my dream house. Let's check it out. What's up guys? My name is Zed and welcome to my home. Those gates are amazing for privacy. Those gates are telling you you're coming into an estate. Wow. Whenever I think about my dream house, it looks something like this. I really never get tired of a view like this, which is really zen and peaceful and uh, relaxing. How would you get tired of a view like that? Imagine waking up every morning, going outside, having your coffee or your tea, and just looking at that view. That would be amazing. The way this is structured for me is that this section of the house is work. The bottom part will be the studio. The top part is the gym, indoor and outdoor. This section of the house is living. Mm. And this is like sleeping. That is an amazing idea because I work from home most of the time and something that could be very annoying is when you feel like you're living in the same space that you're working in. So it's nice that he has it sectioned off. When he's done work, he can physically leave that area and go to where he lives and it can feel very separate. Welcome to the house. I don't know how, but nobody's ever fallen in here. That is a pretty wide space. If someone wants to fall in, they will have to be like the most clumsiest person ever. This is the small door to the house. You can, when you open it, decide whether you want to go here that is amazing or here imagine if you open a door and go through one side and the dog or cat runs through the other side and you don't see them <laughs> it's a really random thought to have but it's a thought i do have i'll go here when you walk in what i really like about this place is that a it's really open you see a lot of glass really tall ceilings here so you have a little bit of everything right away and this tree this entire house was actually built around this tree unfortunately it is dying so I'm going to replace it with an artificial tree that looks just like this. One thing I want in my future house for sure is plants and trees. So it is amazing that they built the whole house around a tree and I love the open space. Currently this wall is just a wall full of art, silly things and awards. They're all kind of mixed in so there will be a Grammy next to a poop emoji. Can you imagine being like, oh yeah, just come into my living room. Oh yeah, that's my Grammy. You see that Grammy over there? Oh yeah, yeah, that's no big deal. The person who built the house um, is a big fan of art and he was playing with the thought of maybe even having some moving art pieces here. Um, I love the ceilings here because it gives you a lot of space for art. It's Ooh really tall one thing i'm loving about this house is how i can see greenery one thing i hate about houses that are at this caliber is when they don't look like a home they look very officey and this house could easily look like that but because i see some greenery it helps it look more homey there's benches here for when you get tired of walking to the skittles machine <laughs> this is the skittles machine that will go to whatever flavor you pick you have to pay money <laughs> Would you like some? I don't know if Zed has a contract with Skittles to advertise for them, but if he doesn't, shout out to Skittles because they just got a free advertisement just now. So this place was built kind of like a resort. All the guest bedrooms are all back to back. As he goes more through the house, the more I'm feeling like it looks more like a resort than a house. If I had the money to buy that kind of house, I might buy something that is a bit more warmer and cozier. This is the gray bedroom where everything is kind of muted. All these, um, open up entirely wow and give you a nice view that is gorgeous the funny thing about this bedroom is that could be a master bedroom in a different house and we would think that is the nicest master bedroom ever but no in this 16 million dollar house it is just a guest bedroom this is uh my brother's bathroom these blinds here they're currently on a timer and i think they go up at 6 or 7 a.m so when my brother takes a shower somebody's outside it goes up He's had an encounter with our gardeners because he decided to take an early shower in the gardeners, you know, had a nice view. How rich do you have to be to have your house customized for you? It's times when the curtains are gonna go up. I aspire to that. Maybe if I open my own marketing agency. Nobody in here. Oh wait, I thought that's a different room. Never mind. Oh, he thought it was a different room. So that makes me think that he's not been here for long. Either your house is just that big that you don't know what rooms you have in there, or he just moved in here like a few months ago or less than a month ago, actually. This is the server room. There's a lot of doors here. These are also probably the largest stairs ever. And I think they made him so it's a little bit more comfortable to walk or run upstairs if, if it's urgent. 
I usually don't like when stairs are too long in houses, but these are just gorgeous. All right, this is, uh, this is the master. Ooh. Welcome. It has the wood ceilings. Um, it has the same stone that we've seen earlier on the outside and on the inside. This view is beautiful and amazing to have. That room is my dream room. It has the windows. It has the space. It has that fireplace, that double-sided fireplace. I've always loved double-sided fireplace. This is actually a double-sided fireplace, but I want one in my room. That is what I really want. You can just click a button. That is... So, this is the magic. There's a lot of amazing things about this house, but this is probably the thing that makes me the happiest. Yes, yes. That would be the thing that makes me the happiest as well. That is magic. Imagine a late night, you're trying to de-stress, you close those blinds, you have the fireplace going, you turn on some Netflix, you have some popcorn and some chocolate. Oh! Also, the only thing that will change about this room is the blinds. I would make it so that it's the blind similar to what he had in his brother's bathroom. So this is the bathroom. It's really everything I've ever wanted in a bathroom. I think it's perfect. It feels really nice. The view it's is cozy. nice. I love the lighting fixture. So far, I've only used the bathtub once because I feel like when you buy a house with a bathtub like this, you have to use it. So I did. It's good thing he used it at least once. That kind of bathtub, you have to use at least once. But showers all the way. Now I'm back to the shower. This is my unorganized, unfinished closet. I apologize for the mess. And then the other side, meant to be hers, but it's shoes. <laughs> Lots of shoes that I haven't even opened yet. That is a lot of shoes. I don't understand when people have this much shoes. Where do you wear it to? I don't even know where I'll wear these shoes to. I like shoes. We can tell. I guess you can tell. <laughs> so this is the main part of the house. Oh. It is the kitchen, dining area, and the living space. I take what I said back about the house. I like it. It's cozy to me. It's good. <laughs> it's cozy. This is the stove. And a little story about this little guy here. I, I had never seen these before. It's a pot filler. You just can do it right here. That's when I knew that I wanted the house. Because I thought that if somebody thought about this, they probably thought about other things. There's water. It's magic. This, this is the reason I bought the house. He has those stairs. He has those high ceilings. He has that majestic view. But the reason he bought the house is for that. I get what he means though. That is such a thoughtful thing to put in a house that if the person that built the house thought to put that in, it also makes sense that they thought of other thoughtful things to put in the house as well. In the kitchen and in the preparation kitchen, there's built-in vacuums. So if you... What? prepare food and you drop something, you just kick it in and it goes through to the central vacuum, which is hidden in the server room. So when he says that, does it mean that the dirt is just sucking itself to one area? So you just see dirt moving across your floor? Is that what he's talking about? Or does a vacuum come out? Because if it's just the dirt moving to a central area, then he is living in 2050 and we are living in 2021. And it's just very cozy and livable. And then in this corner, we have another very table, which is the board game table. It's dedicated specifically to play board games like Risk. It can be used for other things too, but really this is the board, board game table. What I think about is how I would use the space. And I could imagine a late night, the sun is set in, you have friends and family around and you're just playing board games with that view. Oh, that would be gorgeous. In that stone wall and in this little wood piece, all the doors from all the rooms hide in there. So I can kind of open this for you. Oh, indoor outdoor living is what I need. That is my goal. In whatever house I buy, it needs to have indoor outdoor living. One thing I have to say though, if I'm spending $16 million on a house, I shouldn't have to manually open it. It should be automatic. You kind of lose sense of when you're inside or outside. Like when you're here, it feels like you might still be inside. And that's for me, the definition of indoor outdoor living. This is like a... The rooftop, I think if I ever really have like a proper party, this would be a really good place to entertain. I'm imagining like some seats, a movie projection. Oh, yes. So it could be a really nice place to watch a movie. Every single room in this house has an amazing view. There's no room that you go into that you don't see outside. And I love that. Let's head upstairs to the uh, gym that's not finished yet. There will be a huge machine Ooh. here covering the majority of the room. I have no clue what I'm doing because my trainer's not here, <laughs> but he'll be really proud seeing this so patrick this is for you i am loving the gym ever since the pandemic happened i appreciate home gyms that much more right now this is still sort of a garage 
but it will become a music studio. We have Ooh. to dig five feet down because uh, you need a certain height to be able to have a good sounding studio. And then mm. there will be stairs going down and there will be one room here and one big room over there. I promise that's what it will be eventually. Even if he didn't do it on purpose because he's just showing his house, that is a really good way to market himself because I'm pretty sure a lot of people that watch Architectural Digest might not know who he is. But now that he's saying that he's building a recording studio in his house, that is gonna make some people wanna check out his music and see why he's so successful to be able to afford a $16 million house. So now he just got a whole new slew of fans. It's good marketing, even if it was not on purpose. All right, guys, thanks for checking out my house. I hope you enjoyed it. Now get the hell out of here because I have a fitting starting in two minutes. That house is ridiculous and I need to see what people are saying about it. So this is what it looks like to be a Zedlionaire. <laughs> but um, why is his $60 million house better than houses at $100 to $200 million? That is very true. I think a huge thing might be location. He might be in a location that is not as expensive. But also I noticed that when I look at houses between like the 10 to maybe 35, 40, maybe $50 million mark, they're extremely nice. But once you get to the hundred millions, something about them aren't as nice anymore. They seem like they're usually very vintage or more old. And I feel like the price is that high because of the history and the land rather than the actual house. Who's here from David's video of the Lego wall? Just me? Okay, bye. 1400 likes, so it's not just you. That is also marketing right there. People came from David Dobrik's video to come and see Zed's house because David Dobrik posted on either his TikTok or Instagram Zed's Lego wall. Zed didn't show it in this video, which I'm kind of surprised about, but he has a Lego wall that if you open it, you can see him performing as a Lego to a big crowd of Legos. And it's really cool. And David Dobrik posted that. It just trickles down, right? You might be a fan of David Dobrik. David Dobrik posts something cool that Zed has in his house. You wanna see the full tour, so you go over to this channel. And then if you don't know who Zed is, you might go to his Spotify and listen to his music. And all of a sudden you are a Zed fan and the world goes round. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and watching Zed's house with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. What was the most impressive room to you in this house? Most impressive room to me was personally his master bedroom. That was the most coziest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. In 2021, we're gonna get our master bedrooms looking like that. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna be posting a lot of videos like these. So click that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos. I'm gonna give that video a like and I'm going to comment that bedroom is my dream bedroom give them a little heart eye emoji and comment if you made it to the end of this video leave this emoji and I'll catch you in the next one bye <laughs>